last week I investigated the angel Gabriel about the truth about Christmas and we came up with some interesting information from that one. This week I've got another eyewitness who was at the very first Christmas. I've got some clever questions up my sleeve. And together we will get to the bottom of this Christmas investigation. Please state your name and confirm that you were indeed at the very first Christmas over 2,000 years ago. My name is Mary and yes, I can confirm I was at the very first Christmas 2,000 years ago. So tell us, where were you when this Christmas event started and what were you doing? Were you stuffing the Christmas turkey? Uh, no, actually there's no such thing as a turkey in the first original Christmas story. I was actually at home in my um, native country of Israel and I was out uh, doing some chores and then suddenly a bright light shone into the room where I was. Ooh, so tell us, what was this bright light? Was it Rudolph's bright red nose leading Santa's sleigh? No, 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 no again. The real Christmas story has nothing to do with reindeer and bright red noses. No, it was actually an angel who came into the room and he came to give me a message from God Most High. Ah, yes, Gabriel. Can you tell us what he came to say to you? Yes, he came to tell me that I was going to have a baby and that the baby was going to be God's own son. Ah yes, that does indeed confirm what we learnt last week, doesn't it? Now tell us, did you indeed become pregnant? Yes, I did. I became pregnant by the Holy Spirit. And my at first, Joseph, well, he's my fiance, he was not too sure about it anymore and he decided nope he's not going to marry me and then you know what the angel gabriel appeared to him too and then told him all about it and then soon after that joseph and i were married so far this is lining up nicely now can you tell us about the birth of this baby and how it all happened sure i can Right before the birth was about to happen, Joseph and I had to travel to the place where he was born to um, be counted. And it was a really long, slow, painful journey, but we did make it in the end in one piece. Ah, let me guess the place of his birth. Was it the North Pole? It must have been very cold. The North Pole? No, 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 it was not the North Pole, it was Bethlehem. The place of his birth was Bethlehem. Ah, so tell me, when you got to Bethlehem, did you find a gingerbread house so that you could have your baby? When we got to Bethlehem, it was so crowded with people. There were people there from all over the place. And at first, you know what? We couldn't find somewhere to stay which was really difficult when you're about to have a baby. But finally, God provided a place for us in a stable. And it wasn't made out of gingerbread. No way! Did you end up having God's son in a stable? Surely not. Yes, we actually did. He was born there. And because we didn't have a lovely crib, well, we made a cute little cot for him out of guess what? a manger, an animal's feeding box, and we lay him down right inside that snuggled in to sleep. So what happened after that? Did you get some visitors to come and say congratulations like some little owls bringing gifts? <laughs> no. Well, we did get some visitors that night, but they weren't owls. No, it was some shepherds, and they came um, a group of angels had come to them and told them that the God's son was going to be born and where he would be. So they came to honor him. And that's why they came to us. 
So there we have it folks, straight from the mouth of the mother of the baby herself. The real reason for the season has more to do with a baby being born in a stable in Bethlehem than gingerbread houses and gift giving owls. Interesting. Today in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Luke 2, 10.